Hello, my name is Cindy Matalucci and you're watching The Pulse, where we get the 411 on all the latest and greatest things to do in this amazing city, San Diego. From the newest bars and restaurants to the chicest boutiques, to the gyms and the trainers that are keeping the people of this city buff 365 days a year, to the place you want to go to get your spa on. I'm exploring it all for you, and of course, having fun along the way. So come with me while we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego. On today's episode, we sit down with Lori Nicole, President and CEO of Stimulation, the world's first regeneration system. We learn about her story and what prompted her to create this luxury skincare line. We then take you on an exclusive tour of Villa del Palmar in the islands of Loreto, Mexico, Baja's first million star resort. From the stunning mountain and ocean views to the 39,000 square foot luxury spa, we show you why this is the place you want to go for your next vacation. We end our show in studio with Rain Kreef, designer of Bijou Rocks, a unique collection of handcrafted jewelry. From curated vintage pieces to elements from the four corners of the world, this local designer has you covered. We're so passionate about people's stories, and I have to tell you, Lori Nicole has a very inspirational one. Born with a vitamin deficiency where her body could not produce vitamin A or D, she was teased that she had granny hands by the age of 15. What did she do? She ended up creating the first line to use human stem cells in their products to help regenerate the skin. Check this out. Hi, I'm Cindy with The Pulse. I'm here with the fabulous Lori Nicole from Stimulation, CEO and President. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's so nice to be with you. We're so excited to have you here. I am such a big fan of your product. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I know it's a luxury skincare line, but you really are passionate about this because you had issues when you were younger. So I want you to tell the viewers a little bit about that. Well, I was born with a deficiency in my body's ability to produce vitamin A and D. So from a really young age, my mom was dragging me to the dermatologist. And you know, back in the day, we didn't have fancy tanning beds or anything like that. And they treated you with ultraviolet lights. So they literally put me in a closet lined with aluminum foil and ultraviolet lights. Oh my gosh. And told me not to touch the walls, I'd get burned. But they tried everything. Um, salt baths, sea salts, very healing, and ointments, and vitamin A drops. But that's like taking steroids, so it's very toxic my fingertips would actually break open and bleed and I would get raw marks from even my knee socks and things like that as a child. And so my entire youth I was using products or cocktailing products together because they finally ultimately found salves that worked, medicated salves. But you know as you get a little older and your friends all have their pretty creams I want something better. <laughs> I wanted my own pretty cream. <laughs> many, many years and a second career later, I find myself working for a stem cell research company. Well, and so you were one of the first lines, so you sort of were a pioneer mm. in using human stem cells in your product, whereas a lot of companies use plant right. stem cells. So talk to us a little bit about that. Well, we have really no evidence that plant stem cells really do much of anything. Um, they're a great antioxidant, but you know, we're not apples. And so, <clears throat> other than that, there's no medical evidence. However, there's great medical evidence that the growth factors produced by stem cells are great for wound care and healing, and they're doing amazing things. Most people are going to probably say, is it safe? So kind of walk us through the process, because there is a process with the stem cells. Oh, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the first thing is that we work with a biomedical lab, and it's GMP certified, which is, you know, the top of the line. But we also buy them through these cells. These are um, from adult donors that have certified bills of health. But the biggest issue is that the stem cells aren't in the product. So you're not getting anyone's DNA. Okay. That's important. <laughs> That's you very think important. that, right, when you, when you mm. hear about it. Talk to us a little bit about the product itself and, and how it works. We look at the growth factors from stem cells as a multivitamin. So when you're aging, right, we, we supplement are. our body with vitamins that we no longer have or have depleted over time, right? So this would be the same thing. We use mesenchymal stem cells. 
a big fancy word for bone marrow. It is really the EMT, the emergency medical team of the body. So if you have a trauma in your body, mesenchymal stem cells are dispersed to that site. So what happens is it works for someone in my condition that had extremely dry, sensitive skin, had a lack of collagen and elastin in my skin. And then it will work for somebody with acne. I had an extreme condition. So when you see my pictures, it's pretty dramatic. Um, before, 30 days, 60 days, and one year. It literally changed my life. The big part of creating stimulation was it had to be a luxury experience, but highly effective. And one of the best stories ever is my son, um, who is my big fan, thinks I can do anything. But his friend, <laughs> between high school and college, got an onset of adult acne. And it really kind of messed him up. So of course, my son calls me and he's like, Mom, you have to help my friend. And I said, well, we'll do anything we can, but I don't know if it'll work. Well, that's what the miracle was, is that after three months of using these three products. Just these three. Just these three. He was off Accutane and his skin was coming back and he was coming back. And my son came and sat down with me at Christmas time. He's like, Mom, it was really a great Christmas. He says, but the best gift was he gave me my, my friend back. Oh my gosh. And That's got to make you feel good at the end of the day. <laughs> it makes me choke up every <laughs> time because if I could help one person avoid that and somebody says, oh my gosh, what you did for my skin is so amazing, I, I feel so passionate about the line because it's been doing that for people. So you showed us a few of the products. Tell us a little bit about some of the other products that you have here today. The serum is the flagship, um, and it's a little pricier. It runs $2.50 an ounce for the, um, for the facial serum. But the thing about it is this has more than, you know, a lot of products have in 10 different oh, yeah. products. And if you only had one thing that you could buy, mm -hmm. this would be Smell. the go-to. So we designed High Impact. High Impact is vitamin C ester, epidermal growth factors, and hyaluronic acid. So it is designed, it was designed specifically for plumping and filling in facial surface lines and so forth and creating the hydration. And vitamin C is really great for brightening. From there, we have the Boost Cream. You talked a little bit about that. It has alpha hydroxy acids and lactic acid in it, and it helps to create a natural cell turnover. Of course, you have to have cleansers in the line. Of course. Of course. So we created a gel cleanser, which is really nice and light, and then we have the scrub, and the scrub has turned out to be one of our real hero products. It's made with diametaceous earth, which is a natural raw material. So after your cleansing, we have a toner. What this is, is it's a balancing toner, and it actually brings your pH of your skin, because after you put soaps and waters and so forth, you change the pH, and when you bring the pH back to neutral, then it can absorb the products better. Drench is our newest moisturizer, and it's very rich and creamy and very hydrating. And then the eye cream is fabulous. So, well, we're so happy that you created this product because we love thank it and we you. know it's helping so many people out there. So we want to thank you for being here today, but tell the viewers how to get their hands on your product. Yes. If you'd like to find out more information about the products and about the science and so forth, you can certainly find us at... For more information on Stemulation and where to buy these fabulous products, you can go to Stemulation.com. Coming up next, we're on location at Villa del Palmar in the islands of Loreto, Mexico. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Pulse. We all love to escape to a place where you can really let your hair down and unwind, especially with our busy lives. We found a sanctuary that you really need to see to believe. From the crystal blue waters of the Sea of Cortez to the beautiful mountain vistas of the Sierra de la Giganta in the background, we got an exclusive sneak peek of this resort just for you. Watch this.
We're here at the fabulous Villa del Palmar, and we're gonna be taking you inside this gorgeous self-contained destination location at the Sea of Cortez. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, my name is Paul Moreno. I'm the COO of the Villa Group, a hotel chain in Mexico. We were considered by Jacques Cousteau to be the aquarium of the world. We have over 5,000 different species that we only have in this area. Additionally, we are surrounded by these beautiful mountains and uh, uh, we have been able to design this gorgeous resort surrounded by a golf course, by the ocean, and we have respected nature as it is. Keeping in mind that uh, we want to respect nature, we have been able to uh, design our facilities, taking in consideration uh, that we need to create our own water, our own electricity, and most important, to maintain the, um, the nature as it is. Amenities we all have everywhere, but not everybody offers the service that we have been able to offer through our employees. We try to take care of every single guest as if he was a very special and important person. I think that is the huge, the biggest amenity we have, our people servicing our guests.
with the new bridge between the borders of the US and Mexico, we will be able to connect uh, people from San Diego especially, going through the bridge in 15 minutes, going to the airport in Tijuana, where we do have a direct flight from Tijuana to Loreto. It's just a, a little bit over an hour flight, so uh, it would be very convenient and very easy for any traveler that want to discover something new and precious, the islands of Loreto. To find out more information on this amazing resort and how to book your flight, you can go to villadelpalmarloreto.com. Use our friends and family promo code to save money when you book. You'll receive a special rate of $119 per night in a deluxe studio suite, plus taxes and gratuities. The rate is normally $184. Reference code FAMNOV15 when you book. Don't touch that remote because when we come back, it's our Pulse on the Scene segment. Now it's time for our Pulse on the Scene segment, where we take you inside the best events in San Diego. From the philanthropic to the star-studded red carpets, we give you an exclusive sneak peek of these fabulous events. On today's episode, we're on the red carpet for the San Diego Film Festival. We were on the red carpet for an exclusive interview with actor Adrian Brody at the Variety Night of the Stars tribute party, honoring Adrian and Gina Davis. Check this out. So you've had such a great career from The Pianist to Houdini. It seems like you're a method actor. You really dive into your characters. I want to find out a little bit about what inspires you in your characters. Um, well, there are elements that are inspirational everywhere you look, right? And I often gravitate to characters that um, have a lot of complexity, a lot of flaws, and then in spite of their flaws, they are somehow, they prevail, they're heroic, even though they're not built to be heroes, right? Which I think is very true to life and very much a part of what our requirement is to, you know, persevere as human beings and <laughs> climb lampposts and, you know, um, you know, it is, it is, uh, it's a beautiful thing to tap into that insight in a character where you have a great deal of safety and then you understand that intimately and then I think it only leads to um, greater evolution and, and greater compassion and, and understanding because you're, you're required to constantly be in other people's shoes. Well, congratulations on everything, and we can't wait to see September of Shiraz. We heard great things about that as well. Thank you very much, yeah. Hope you get to see it, yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. For more information on San Diego Film Festival and how to get your tickets for this year's event, you can go to sdfilmfest.com. When we return, we're in studio with Bijou Rocks. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Pulse. I am obsessed with a great piece of vintage jewelry. And when I took a look at Bijou Rocks, I was hooked. From her vintage 1950s pieces to her limited editions, each piece Rain handcrafts is more exceptional than the next. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Cindy with The Pulse. I'm here with Ren Kreef from Bijou Rocks. How are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm so excited to have you here today. Thank you for having me. I'm such I'm a fan of your jewelry. Thank you. Before we talk all things jewelry, I wanna know a little bit about your story because I know you were in fashion from a young age. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your story. 
Well, um, I guess um, I grew up in Montreal, Canada, and um, my father was a fashion importer, and so I grew up in the fashion industry. What drew you to being a designer for jewelry? What was the mission and the, the inspiration for that for you? Well, um, at a young age, I collected uh, vintage pieces of jewelry, and uh, you know, it was, um, I think, my first piece, I was 14 years old, and I was just drawn to um, brooches and necklaces and beads and all these things, and, and, and it just, it, I just kept accumulating them. And eventually, um, I uh, decided that I was gonna use some of those pieces and make um, pieces that I could actually wear. And uh, it started like that, and then people would ask me, oh, where did you get this piece? And I'd say, well, you know, I made I it. I made it. <laughs> I'm very creative in what I make and when I, I get inspired by, for example, a vintage piece I bought, like for example what I'm wearing today is uh, a Victorian brooch that came all in attached. And so I took this and I saw it and I thought, oh, how beautiful, what can I make with it? And I was inspired immediately to make these long um, necklaces which are knotted silk. It seems like, obviously, I love the vintage. There's a lot of unique, but mm -hmm. you bring in pieces from the four corners of the world, sure. which I love yeah. that you do that. How does that work for you? Well, for example, let me show you this collection right here. This is called um, the Dragonstone Collection. And the Dragonstone Collection is um, matte agate, and it's um, with obsidian. Wow. And so these pieces um, come from China. And they're, each one is hand carved. I don't know if you can see I mean, the, the detail, detail is, is like incredible. Amazing. It's you know really, really interesting. And so what I did is I actually created a whole collection behind this. So I did short necklaces, long necklaces, uh, eternity necklaces, which are you know just these kind where um, it's just one big long oh, loop. Wow. I don't like to repeat what I make. So each piece is unique. Every well, I, we single... have to point that out to the viewers. <laughs> so that's one thing that I find is so unique is that when you say literally, there's one piece, there's oh, one piece. Yes, absolutely. So there might be another that's similar, but yes. it's got a different detail to well, it. Well, the ones that are similar, I like to call them um, part of a limited edition. I mean, the pieces that you have, mm are timeless. Well, that's my objective, I think, is to make something that you could wear whenever, forever, not limited to what's trending or what's in. Although, I have to say, um, right now, fashion is wearing long I was and long. That. So that's a trend, and here we go. I, I, I kind of look at those things, and so I make things like that. So long necklaces of all sorts. Here's part of the knotted silk collection. So this is the knotted silk. These are very mm -hmm. lightweight but so gorgeous. Oh yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And and you amazing. Know, and all of these are also in collections. So you have the black which is um, this one was with, is with pyrite. And then I have the white agate and I have labradorite and pearls and tiger eye. So they're they're all grouped in collections. So all, there's going to be two or three or four of them per collection and then Okay. I'll elaborate and get into maybe a knotted silk bracelet. But that's what I was going to say, you also have bracelets mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And earrings. And earrings. So you can put the collection together. Well, so, okay, I love the vintage. I have to say, I'm obsessed with your vintage. Let's talk about your vintage collection. Okay. So these are curated. I know you have the Blue Danube here, yeah. which is amazing. Talk to me a little bit about the vintage. If I can show you, for example, over there. Right, okay. So this is a brooch. Oh, gorgeous. This is a brooch from the 1950s, okay? And I don't know, the rhine, you can see the quality of the rhinestones and everything. It's like super, you know, elaborate. And so, nice. you know, I keeping in the, in, in the you know, I keep the integrity of the brooch. You know, like I don't want to destroy the brooch. I, I'll, I'll work around whatever. So you like the aesthetic of what mm -hmm. it looks like and then you sort of build. Right, and so I make something that works with it. And I'll use, I'll use, you know, um, modern elements, things that are not um, vintage, you know, and mix them with that so that it becomes oh, kind that's of... That's why it's timeless then. Yeah, the timeless aesthetic. 
even in the vintage I have collections. So I have um, the Gatsby collection, which is, this is one of them. This is part I of the Gatsby. I love the Gatsby too. Um, and then there are a few elements in that. And in, for example, in the Gatsby collection, I have one to represent um, the main characters. So this one is Gatsby. The pink one on the mannequin over there is, um, is Daisy. Um, I have a Jordan and I also have a Myrtle, which oh, is that's great. right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. So, okay, tell me a little bit about how people can work with you because I know you do trunk shows. Sure. You do the custom pieces. Let's talk a little bit about that. So, if people are thinking, okay, how can I see this jewelry? And walk us through the options that they have. Oh, sure. Okay, so um, on my website, which is um, visualrocks.com, you can. Um, find everything there. There is the custom jewelry that you can actually custom make something. If you right. like Explain anything. That. So okay, if so you if you like custom... anything, let's say you like my knotted silk, but you would like it in green. So you can send me a message and say, Ren, I love the knotted silk, I would like it in green. And I'll say, okay, these are the options. We can work together and I'll make whatever you like. You have been so gracious to offer our viewers a promo code. Well, I, I thought, um, why not give uh, our viewers a little something to incite them to go on and look. So I'm, I'm giving you 20% discount um, with a promo code, which... Um, the Pulse 20. I believe is the code. The Pulse 20, yes. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Go online, take a look. If you haven't seen this company, you have got to check it out. It's amazing. Well, Ren, for more information on Bijou Rocks and how to get your hands on her beautiful jewelry, you can go to bijourocks.com. Make sure to use our promo code, the Pulse 20, to save 20% on your purchase. That's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time when we put our finger on the Pulse of San Diego.